Hello and welcome to my Plasfy review. In this Plasfy review, I am going to show you everything that you need to know about Plasfy. I'm going to take you inside the members area of Plasfy and I'm going to do a demo of Plasfy to show you everything that Plasfy offers. Now, Plasfy is a cloud based web or graphics design program, and you can design graphics with it right from your internet browser. And the cool thing about Plasfy is that it's a lot like Canva. As you're going to see when I get into it here, it's going to look like Canva and it's going to feel like Canva. So it's not 100% like Canva. It just acts like Canva. And in my opinion, it's, it offers just about the same amount of things as Canva does. Not 100%, but they are working. It does have an active roadmap and I'll show you that as well. So here's what you get for with Plasfy. You'll get 17,000 templates, 100 top formats of different formats, uh, Canvas resize into any format very quickly, 8 million plus images in stock photo libraries. This is from Pixabay, Unsplash, and others. You get access to 2,500 fonts, 5 million icons, in the top icon libraries. Custom dimensions, you can create your own custom dimensions. There's an AI background remover that you can use with this and it works perfect. And you, it supports all image units uh, like pixels, feet, millimeters, centimeters, and inches. And the great thing about this right now is you are seeing this video at a perfect time because they are offering a Founders Day deal and what that means is since Plasfy is so new, they're offering this at a lifetime deal. You can't go wrong at this. It's $39 for lifetime access. Quit paying Canva $119 a year to use it while you can pay Plasfy $39 today and use it forever. So no more charges. So Take advantage of that while you can, because I'm not sure how long that's going to last. It's not going to last forever, so please take advantage of that $39 deal. Even if it's something that you might not, that you think that you might not want to use now, but may use in the future, when you come back in the future, it may not be there. Okay, so let's go into Plasfy. This is uh, my account here in Plasfy, and as you can see, um, th they offer a lot of templates. Not as many as Canva does, but they do offer a lot. So they offer some social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, thumbnails. Um, YouTube. There's a YouTube cover photo in there too, and I'll show you that here as well. Uh, personal invitations, planners, resumes, cards, certificates, co book covers, logos, business cards, letterheads, certificates, flyers, brochures, posters, infographics, menus, and gift vouchers. So... Uh, if I go to create a design here, I can see everything that it offers. So the album covers, banners, billboards, uh, block head covers, book covers, brochures. Um, here's your custom stuff, your custom dimensions in centimeters, feet, inches, millimeters, pixels. They can do email signatures, Facebook stuff. Uh, flyers, half page, Instagram stuff, infographics, isometric graphics. That looks so cool. Uh, large rectangles as uh, leaderboards, letterhead, LinkedIn banner. Here's a mind map here you can do with it. Menus, logos, uh, all kind of stuff. This Plasfy Professional, I'm not sure what that is. I haven't used it. Uh, mobile wallpaper, poster. So the, here's all the stuff that you can get with that. Squares, t-shirts, tickets. So it's really, really cool, the stuff that you can do with this. Okay, so let me go ahead and um, just do a quick thumbnail. Now, the thing that I don't like about this, one thing I don't like about Plasfy is its speed. Um, it, it didn't go through right away. It has gotten better since I purchased it here a couple weeks ago. But um, the speed on the back end is a little slow at the moment. I think it's because they're getting so many users from that lifetime deal all at once that it's hard for them to keep up with the server. So they have to up keep upgrading their servers. So I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So that slow speed shouldn't be lasting forever. 
So um, as you can see, this looks a lot like Canva. So if you're used to using Canva, you're going to see that this is fairly easy to use. If you've not used Canva before and you've not used graphic editing before, you might take a little bit of time to get the use of, to get the hang of where everything's at, but it's very easy once you get the once you get the hang of it. So we can go ahead and put a template in here if we want. We can just drag it up and just or just click on it. Okay, we just click on it and it puts our template in there. But I don't want to use this template, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo. Okay, so, and we can put another template in there if we want. And that's how you put a template in there. And then you can just use each um, layer here. You can change each layer if you want. Change the text or change the guy, however way you want it. So there's a lot of templates in here, as you can see. So a ton, a ton, a ton of templates. So... Um, you can even search for your templates here and this will be on every post type as well, whether you're doing brochures or Facebook ads or something like that, you're, you're going to see templates on all of them. Um, it's clip art. It's going to give you clip arts. It's going to give you a text here. This is your fonts. Here's clip arts. It's got a lot of clip arts in here, shapes, 3d graphics, some avatars, Here's cutout images. It has a lot of cutout images as well. Images that are already cut out for you that you don't need to do the background remover on. But you could do a background remover on just about any any uh, image that you have. Just upload the image. You can upload your own images in here. And then you can do the uh, background remover on those. And let's see. Photos, we can this we can do just about anything with the photos. You can upload your own. You can get them from image URL online. You can even copy them. Like, I'll go to, let me go to the classify page. And we'll do a view background image. No, that didn't work. I just want to copy an image. So we'll do copy image. We're not copying the image address. We're not saving it to the computer. We're just copying the image. And we'll come back over here. And boom, it pastes it right in our graphic. We didn't have to download it. We didn't have to get the image address. We just copied it to the clipboard. And it pasted it right in. How cool is that? So you can get them from Pixabay, Unsplash, Pexels. You can put SVG code in there. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, you can get from your webcam on your computer. Uh, you can get from Dropbox, Google Drive, Google Avatars, and Free Pick. So you can search. And, I mean, if you click on these, it's not going to take it to the home page. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do this right in here in the app. So um, you can search the images here. And see, it brings it right right up, right straight from uh, Pixabay. And let me go ahead and show you, let me put a picture in here. Um, we'll do this one. I'll show you how the background image works, the background remover. We throw that in here and um, let me do this is remove the background. You just click that button up there and it's going to remove the background. So um, it, it takes just a few seconds to do. And there we are. It removed the background and it kept the tiger. So all we have to do is I'll add a background here to white. And as you can see, cool. So it removed the background on that. So that is pretty cool. You can remove the background on just about any, any image that you want. Okay, so uh, we were at photos, uh, background. This is where you change your background. You can do gradients if you want. So you can change it to gradients like that. I really like these for my YouTube chat, for my YouTube uh, thumbnails. I use this, I'm using this now for my YouTube thumbnails. And there's overlays, elements, 
So this has a lot of elements here. You can do drawings, shapes, you can put emojis in there. You can even make QR codes, grids, photo frames, SVG repo. So this is SVG. If you want to do SVG stuff like icons and stuff like that, that's their noun project. I'm not sure what that is. Icons. You can import Google Maps straight from the straight from the uh, app here, and this is really cool. You can do everything straight from the app. Blob makers, virtual cards, uh, 3D bay, whatever that is, something 3D. Fonts, story set, stickers, icons, flat icons. There's all kind of stuff that you can do with this. And it has a ton, a ton, a ton of things. And um, it's easy to uh, put in text. You just go to text and then I'll just put in add a heading. white tiger and then you just click it and click the bound box and then you can make it bigger by clicking the bound box again and making it bigger this way and we can make the text white we can bold it italicize it um we could do shadows it's hard to see these icons some of these don't have icons yet there's a gradient, there's a stroke, and there's a shadow. But you can't see the icons for some reason. So I'm going to click the shadow and opacity. And there's my shadow, even though I really can't tell there's a shadow there. There it is. Okay. Okay. So how cool is that? Okay, so let me show you the roadmap. So the roadmap in progress is a diagram creator. They're going to fix some known issues and un upload custom fonts, uh, templates. They're going to add more templates. They already have over 17,000 templates already, but they're going to be adding some more. Um, they're going to be adding some mock-ups. So you're going to be able to do some mock-ups, put your stuff on like T t-shirts and phones, computer screens, things like that. Social media scheduler and automation. That's amazing. But due to licensing costs, the feature will be a separate software is not included in the founder's special deal. So if you get the lifetime deal, you won't actually get the automation and scheduler. It's going to be something separate. Um, icon Scout's going to be added with 4.7 million icons. Flight icon is going to be added with 5 million vector icons. Uh, Plasify stickers are coming soon. Wikipedia images, you can search straight from Wikipedia images. Uh, chart creators, AI text to image generator. It's going to get that. That's very popular right now, these image generators. Image upload fonts folder, image uploads folders, mock ups editors. Templates page is going to be revamped. So, and then there's other things that are planned, uh, which is the advanced background removers. You're going to be able to do sub accounts with it, team accounts, workspaces, mobile apps. So they're really, really working hard to get this to, to get this to be the best graphics editing program out there on the market today. So uh, I hope that uh, you found this video helpful to you. I did want to go ahead and look at the pricing here real quick. Um, the free trial is zero, but if you didn't want to do the Founder's Day deal with the monthly plan, which is crazy in my opinion, uh, $9 a month a year or $15 a month for monthly, and then professional is $20 a month monthly and $12 a month yearly. And then let me go back and click that Founder's Day deal just so that you can see that it is the price that I just told you it was $39.99. And that gives you all of this stuff, the professional plan, the one-time payment Founders Day deal, uh, 17,000 templates, 100 formats and dimensions, the background remover. Now this gives you 100 credits per month. You're, you're going to be able to do this 100 times every single month, but it does reset every month. Millions of royalty-free images, the copyright-free vector images, the premium integrations, 
unlimited design projects, unlimited design projects. Five or 50 gigabytes of image cloud storage. That's huge. That's a lot. Multilingual support, commercial license included. You can sell your designs online. Video tutorials, all updates and features for free. 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee. But I feel that you're really going to like it once you get in here. I really do. I was using Canva for all my YouTube thumbnails. Now I'm using this. I'm not even going over to Canva anymore. And uh, this really will eliminate the $119 a month that you pay for Canva. And um, I recommend, what I recommend is that you get in here, you take advantage of this Founders Day deal. $39.99, like I said, you can't go wrong with that. Even if you don't plan on using it right now, you can leave it set for a little while and come back to it later because the deal might not be there later. So, um, and there's that 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee. So if you come in here and you know, you know, mess around with it a little bit and you feel it's a, not for, if it's not for you, then you can go ahead and take advantage of that. So I hope you found this video helpful to you. If you did, please give it a like below. Also subscribe to the channel as I'll have more reviews coming in the near future. So I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.